brain doesn't begin to describe it. Last night, this morning. Well, it must have been because your feet haven't touched the ground since you got out of your car. <laughs> Um, are Brooke and Ridge here? Because we probably shouldn't get into this if they are. Uh, no, they went to the office and I just dropped the kids off at school. So we're alone. Yes, but for your mother's sake, please let's keep the conversation G-rated, okay? No details. Mother! Please. Well, you know, I am happy to see you so excited, but, you know, you are still my baby. And, and you have reservations. Honey, are you sure this is what you want? Do you think I'm being selfish? Is that how it feels? It did, at first. I mean, when I thought about what we did to Bridget and how other people would view me. I mean, especially Brooke. I mean, Bridget is her baby. But Bridget seems to be doing okay. I mean, she practically gave Nick and me her blessing. Really? I wouldn't be moving in with him if she hadn't. You were moving in with him? Mm -hmm. He asked me this morning, Mom. Everything is happening just the way I wanted it to. Please say you're happy for me. Oh, sweetheart, I... I want to be, and... Okay, am I the first person that you told? Yes. And I know what you're thinking. What's Brooke gonna do when she finds out? You think Brooke will be upset that I'm moving in with Nick? I don't know how your sister is going to feel. But I don't think you can just assume she's gonna be thrilled for you. Because of Bridget. Katie, this may not be something you understand until you have your own child, but there is nothing more painful or more deeply felt than the wounds a mother watches her children suffer, and they stay with you, sweetheart. And that is why I cannot help but wonder that you and Nick might be rushing things a little no, bit. I know it seems like that, Mom, but I, Bridget's moving out, I'm moving in. It seems fast, but... Fast? You married them. And now you're carrying his baby. And they're getting a divorce. Another divorce. I don't think anyone has had time to process anything. Nick's not on the rebound. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not. I'm worried about you and your sister. I mean, the two of you have been such a support to one another with everything that you have been through. I would absolutely hate for your involvement with Nick to jeopardize your relationship with your sister. It won't. Mom. Sometimes things work out the way they're supposed to. And that's what's happening right now. Everything's going to work out the way it's supposed to. With me, with Nick, with Jack. I mean, I'm going to spend my life with the man I love. I'm going to raise his child. I'm going to be a mother to our children. Mother, can't you see how happy I am? I'm not trying to bring you down. I... I know it's only natural that you'd be worried. Yeah, well, that's mother's job. You don't have to be. I'm so happy. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. Honey, I just want to make sure it's a lasting kind of happiness. It will be. For me and for my baby. Well, it is a comfort to think that this baby will be raised with its father. Nick and I want to give this child the kind of life that... the kind of life that any child would be lucky to have. I know. Neither you or Nick were that fortunate, were you? Well, Nick never really knew his father until later on in life, and I never really knew where mine was. But we both had strong beautiful, supportive mothers. And I have my brothers and sisters, and, and this baby will too. Jack will be his older brother. And I know that there'll be complications. There always are, but, but we will deal with them together. And I can't help but be excited about my future, because it's a future that I didn't think I had. No. Storm knew. Storm knew what I had to live for. We are so committed to this baby and to, and to ourselves. I am moving in with the man I love, and I'm going to have his child. And together we can begin to raise Jack. Everything is working out the way it's supposed to. <laughs>